she's just looking at you because she wants mommy to save her, but that's all. We want you to be relaxed. We want you to have a good walk. We want the dog to respect you, trust you, and to be walking right next to you. Okay? If the dog is walking and it's pulling you, we don't want him pulling you because why? Because that means he's walking you and you're not walking him. You're in charge, you're the leader, you gotta be a leader in every aspect of that, okay? Okay. So as, as you're walking the dog, he's pulling you with just a small correction. Let that chain filter through and come back and let me hear that sound. That sound of that chain they hear gets their attention, then they're looking up to you like, what was that? And then it's up to you to be able to direct them in the right direction. Bring that other direction, no, and then go back the way you were came in. Came and I can tell you're a little nervous. I can tell. There's, I told you that there's nothing to be nervous about. This is fun, okay? And I want to make it fun. Don't, it's not, you know, this is a fun class. It's a fun thing. Remember that you're helping the dog, you're training the dog to become a more adopter of the kind of dog. He's not going to attack you. He's a cute little dog. Okay? So don't be nervous. Don't be scared. Be confident. Because they'll feel all that stuff. Okay? But don't by any means stop and just let your dog react. Keep moving. If you have to, keep moving and just take them right out of line. Okay? You always have your dogs under control. Now at this point, your dogs are going to cross. If there's a reaction, it's a correction and a leaving. Don't let your she even staring at, staring down at another dog. Give her that small correction with a leave it, okay? So she gets it. But I'm going to do one, two more laps with her and then I'm going to have to do it. Pay attention and read her body language. Have you come in and you seeing how I'm doing that? She's walking with you like you're on a regular walk. But now, they're throwing in all these other dogs. Being a good pack leader involves everything. Getting your dog food, making your dog sit before they get their food. Going in and out of the threshold of a door. You want your dog to sit before it goes outside. You go outside, then it points out the dog outside. Sit and come back in. That all steps to being a good pack leader and having your dog. The dog can't do nothing without you saying so first. Okay? Sit. Stay.
job, boy. Here for Murphy. All right, Murphy. All right, wonderful. You guys did fabulous today. I'm very proud of all you guys. Thank you very much for coming.